What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ty back here with another video, and I just want to thank you guys for the support on my on my recent point guard video, the top ten point guards in my team. And a lot of you guys left in the comments um, some suggestions, some different opinions, which which is what the point of this is. Um, but like I said, this is an opinionated um, series that I'm going to be doing. Um, so I just I appreciate your guys is um, um, leaving leaving feedback for me. Um, and, and express an interest that you guys want more of these um, for each and every position. Um, so the point guard had a position had a lot of um, different players, even from like 11, 12, 13, 14 different players I could have put in there that, but just couldn't quite make the list. I easily had 10 different guys I could put in there. Um, shooting guards is a little different. Um, when you get towards the end of it, it's getting a little scary. I feel like. 9, 10 aren't necessarily the great options for comp. Whereas if you use the 10th or 9th best point guard like a Steve Nash, you're fine. You you can compete. Whereas with the 8, 9, 10 shooting guards, I don't I don't think they're they're that elite level. Um, and we'll get into that in the in later in the video. But um, let's get into it, y'all. Starting the list off at number 10 is Lance Stevenson. Now, out of everybody on my list, Lance is the best bang for your buck. He is by far the best bang for your buck. You guys know he is one of the best budget ballers in the game as he's going for just over 10K. Um, and let's get into the stats. He is 6'5", which is uh, decently short um, for, for a shooting guard with um, um, just at, at the shooting guard position. But, but his release makes up for it. His release is one of the best in the game. Has an 88 three-pointer. 85 driving dunk, good ball handler, um, defense is up there as well, good rebounder, decent speed across the boards, 89, 89, 89, um, and, and good lateral quickness as well. So he's an all-around player, um, can do it on both ends of the court. As we get into the badges, has 47 total badges, 9 being Hall of Fame. Hall of Fame quick first step, Hall of Fame slithery finisher, Hall of Fame contact finisher, teardropper, consistent finisher, tireless defender, which is a big badge, and he also has Hall of Fame clamps. For 10,000 MT, this is the best budget baller at the shooting guard position you're going to find. Um, and he also has 38 gold badges, like I mentioned, and they are he has a lot of good ones. Um, as you look, he has Dimer, Interceptor. Um, Pogo stick, let's see, um, Giant Slayer. He has a lot of great finishing badges around the rim. He has handles for days, gold catch and shoot. Um, where is it at? I know it's somewhere. There, There's the two badges I was looking for. He also has gold quick draw and gold range extender for a card that goes for just over 10,000 MT. Lance Stevenson is, is worth every bit of MT if you're looking for a budget shooting guard to fill out your roster. Coming in at number 10, Lance Stevenson. Coming in at number 9 on my top 10 shooting guard list is Karis LeVert. Now, one thing I want to say about Karis is he is one of the most overpriced guys on my list for where I have him ranked, but nonetheless, 99k he can ball he has 22 hall of fame badges as you guys can see um he is 6 7 has two more inches um compared to lance um let's get into the stats 95 three pointer 90 driving dunk, good ball handling and passing um pretty decent defense with 85 steel 92 uh perimeter defense awful rebounder his speed stats are pretty decent with 94 speed 90 speed with ball 94 acceleration he has a 95 vertical which is crazy 78 strength his stats are pretty good 94 lateral quickness Let's get into the badges. Like I said, 22 Hall of Fame with catch and shoot, volume shooter, difficult shocks, acrobat. Here's the one I was looking for. He has Hall of Fame range extender. Just incredible. He. This is a badge that really separates you from being good and great, especially at the shooting guard position. And this badge right below it, Green Machine. If you green a lot of releases, this badge can help immensely. Um, as you can see, it increases the bonus given for consecutive excessive, ex consecutive excellent releases. Um, so, so that's a really important bad quick for badge. He has quick first step downhill um, And just a lot of great badges um, Now one thing about this he has gold interceptor and gold clamps um, So that only being gold hits hurts his value um, Quite a bit. He does have gold quick draw as well, but he has all gold defensive badges really with um, pickpocket or not yeah pickpocket pick dodger um, Interceptor and Clamps, which does hurt him that none of them are Hall of Fame. But like I said, 
Karis Levert is a solid guy coming in at number nine on my list. He is just a bit overpriced. Coming in at number eight on my shooting guard list is Jimmy Butler. Now, some people might be like, why are you putting him at shooting guard instead of small forward? It's just a preference thing. I would rather play Jimmy Butler at shooting guard, and so that's where I'm going to put him on my ranking list. Um, he is 6'8", um, which is impressive for a shooting guard position. He's going for just under 60K, which is not a bad value at all, and we'll get into that later in the video. He has a 93 three-pointer and 85 driving dunk. His ball handling stats are a little bit lower than the past guys we've seen, but still um, decent enough that he can handle it. Defensively, 97 steal, 96 perimeter defense, not a very good rebounder, 90 speed, 86 field ball, 90 acceleration, 88 vertical, strength's a little low, but he does have 98 lateral quickness. Now, those stats are very, very good, especially for a uh, shooting guard who is 6'8". Let's get into the badges. Oh, he only has 38 total badges, 14 Hall of Fame, and 24 gold. Quick first step, catch and shoot, um, tireless defenders, a big badge, an intimidator, interceptor, pickpocket, defensive leader, pick dodger, and clamps. So this man is 6'8", and has every defensive badge you could possibly want in the game. He really could guard the opponent's point guard or their best player um, with all these badges. He also has catch and shoot. So with Jimmy Butler, you're not going to be creating your own shot. So off a of catch and shoot, he is knocked down. He has volume shooter as well. And let's get into it. Pogo stick. He has gold range extender, which is very valuable. Um, he has also has gold quick draw. Um, but like I said, his 38 badges is what prevents him from being a top five shooting guard in this game. I probably like Jimmy Butler more than most people. Um, but that's just because of how great he is on the defensive end. He is going to be in passing lanes. He is going to get plucks on the opponent's point guard. He is going to be one of the best defenders at the shooting guard position in this video. And that's why Jimmy Butler comes in at number eight on my top 10 point guard list. Coming in at number seven on my top 10 shooting guard list is none other than arguably the best shooter in the NBA. Arguably. I'm uh, saying he has Steph on his team, so you can debate that all you want. But Clay is one of the best shooters the NBA has ever seen. Um, he is going for just under 100K, which is, I'll say it's about right. Um, it's about right for how good he is. He's 6'7", um, 98 three-pointer, 65 driving dunk. So that tells you what you're getting out of him. He's not going to go to the rim and, and dunk with efficiency like some other people on this list. 86 ball handler. Um, good passing stats 97 steal with the 98 perimeter defense rebounding is a little low 92 steal 85 speed with ball 92 acceleration 84 vertical 82 strength for this clay thompson is in 98 lateral quickness so you guys know how high i was on jimmy butler's defense but clay is just as good if not better on that side of the ball um, Jimmy had 38 ba total badges. Clay only has 40. He does have more Hall of Flames, Hall of Fame badges though. Catch and shoot quarter specialist. Um, he has Hall of Fame range extender, which is one thing that definitely helps him over Jimmy Butler. Pickpocket, pick dodger, clamps, defensive leader, Hall of Fame quick draw, Hall of Fame intimidator, green machine, off ball pest, tireless defender. So when you're looking at the badges he has, Hall of Fame, they're important badges. And that's why he's above Jimmy Butler. He's a he's a better defender by a, by a small margin, and he is a better shooter. The only thing Jimmy has on him is Jimmy's going to be a little bit better um, going to the rim. Um, let's get into all the other gold badges, see if he has any other important ones. Interceptor is only on gold, which hurts him a little bit. Um, but yeah, he's he's a 6'7 shooting guard that is can also guard the opponent's best best guard ball handler um and, and he's pretty similar to jimmy butler in that respect so if you're wondering clay or jimmy it depends on your budget and, and what you can do clay's a little bit better than jimmy but i do think jimmy's better for the value clay thompson coming in at number seven on my top 10 shooting guard list Coming in at number six is Galaxy Opal Ray Allen. Now, in the last video, I know I said I'm not going to do rewards, but I know a lot of people locked in this Ray Allen, so I'm going to include him on this list. Ray Allen is 6'5", which hurts his value greatly. If he was 6'7", six, 6'8", six, he would be top three on my list. Let's get into the stats. 99 three-pointer, 90 driving dunk. 92 ball handler, decent passing stats, 98 steal. This is with his shoes, so these are a little boosted. His defensive stats are a little boosted. But for me, he has a 98 steal, 98 perimeter defense, 
bad rebounding. Speed's a 95, speed with balls 90, acceleration 95, vertical 90, slider quickness with the shoe I gave him is a 98. So he can do it on both ends. Um, hey, let's get into his badges. He has more badges than both Clay and Jimmy. Um, 20 Hall of Fame badges, catch and shoot, corner specialist, difficult shots, acrobat, volume shooter. He has Hall of Fame range extender and Hall of Fame quick draw. Now let me tell you guys. I was high on D-Wade's release. D-Wade does have a little better release than Ray, in my opinion. But Ray Allen has one of the best releases in the game. And it, it's just it's, it's straight green. He has the badge green machine, which, which helps him green consecutive shots as well. He has Hall of Fame clamps, which is huge for this card. This card can do it on both ends. He also has a tireless defender on Hall of Fame. Uh, let's, keep, let's keep going into his badges. See what other defensive badges this man might have. He has gold intimidator and gold interceptor, which helps him immensely on the defensive end. So he basically has Clance on Hall of Fame, Tyrus Defender on Hall of Fame, the rest of the defensive badges on gold. He has every shooting badge in the book. The one thing that hurts him is his height. He can do it on both ends. On the offensive end, he can go to the hoop. He can create his own shot, but he is 6'5", which hurts him a little bit. Ray Allen coming in at number six on my top 10 shooting guard list. What I said about Ray Allen being a reward card kind of goes with Brandon Roy as well. Um, because as I was making this video, I was I was having trouble finding 10 shooting guards that are good enough to play against comp. So Brandon Roy is another guy I'm going to include because I know a lot of people did grind for this card. Brandon Roy is 6'6", um, has a 95 three ball, a 98 driving dunk, 92 ball handling with decent uh, passing stats. His stats are also a little boosted as well because I put a diamond shoe on him. Has a 98 steal, 98 perimeter defense, decent rebounding stats, 94 speed, 92 speed with ball, 94 acceleration, 98 vertical. His card also, his card also comes with a 98 lateral quickness so he can defend, he can, he can create his own shot, he can do it all. Look at his badges, 52 total badges, 21 of them being Hall of Fame. Volume shooter, catch and shoot, tireless shooter. So. So those badges on itself show you that he can create his own shot. Hall of Fame range extender, Hall of Fame quick draw, Hall of Fame pickpocket, green machine, dead eye, clamp, space creator, quick first step, downhill, pro touch. He's got it all. He even has tireless defender. Um, let's get into more of the badges. Before I tell you, he has he has a gold intimidator, um, gold interceptor, gold handles for days, which are all very important badges. Gold pig dodger. Now, now. You guys might not think about this the first time you see this card, but the reason he isn't a top three card is because he does not have unpluckable. He doesn't have unpluckable, and so he's gonna get ripped by good defenders more than a normal card would. And that brings his value down greatly because as much as he can create his own shot, that prevents him from being next level. Brandon Roy coming in at number five on my top 10 point guard list. Coming in at number four is a guy I truly have not had that much success with. If this was just my solely biased opinion without badges, without looking at their stats, he would not be in the top five. He really wouldn't. But guys, when I go over the stats, when I go over the badges, you're going to see why I had to put him in the top five. Let's get into it. As you guys can see, he's going for upwards of 200K, which is just ridiculous. He is 6'6". Um, 97 three-pointer, 99 driving dunk, 97 ball handler, good passing stats, 94 steal, 95 perimeter defense, decent rebounder, 96 speed, 94 speed with ball, 96 acceleration, 99 vertical, 82 strength, and a 96 lateral quickness. Let's get into the badges. Let's get into the badges. 37 Hall of Fame, 23 gold badges, just incredible. Hall of Fame catch and shoot, Hall of Fame tireless shooter, Hall of Fame range extender. He's got it all. Green machine, um, dead eye, which is important. Pick dodger, clamps, unpluckable, which Brandon Roy lacks. Tight handles. Um, he's really got it all. Tireless defender, downhill. I could go on and on for all the Hall of Fame badges he has. Let's get into some of the uh, gold badges he has, which are Intimidator, Interceptor, Pickpocket, Dimer, all important badges for him. He only has gold quick draw, which might be one of the reasons I'm not higher on him. If he had Hall of Fame quick draw, maybe he would, he would jump up into the top three. But guys, I personally have not had that much success with it. And a lot of it is because I don't 
got his release down. I, I really don't, and I usually am pretty good at getting guys released down, Re releases down quickly. But if you got Vince Carter's release down, Pat, why not? He's worth buying for 200K. He really is. Vince Carter coming in at number four on my top 10 point guard list. Coming in at number three on my top 10 shooting guard list is Dr. J. Now, if I would have recorded this video three weeks ago, he wouldn't have made the list because his badges were just terrible. Now, he is a reward card, so not everybody can get him anymore. But he is 6'6". Let's get into the stats. 94 three-pointer, 99 driving guard, 92 ball handle, um, 97 steal, 95 perimeter defense. He can do it all. Great rebounder, great speed with 97 speed, 92 speed with ball, 97 acceleration, 99 vertical, 96 lateral quickness. His stats are very similar to that of Vince Carter's. Um, let's get into the badges. 38 Hall of Fame badges for my man with the plan. Dr. J can't do it all. Catch and shoot. Um, let's let's keep let's keep going. I could go through every badge, but that would hurt my voice and take me forever. Green machine, dead eye, pickpocket, pick dodger, clamps, clutch shooter, interceptor, pogo stick, tireless defender. Let's keep going down the list. Downhill, showtime. All these slashing badges that I didn't list just makes it incredible. He's gonna be dunking on Yao Ming. He is that type of guy. Now you might wonder, where, where's the badge? Where's the best badge in, to, in the game? The most important badge for any shooting guard to have in the game. And there it is. Not only do you see range extender, you also see quick draw, which makes Dr. J a top three shooting guard, in my opinion. He has every defensive badge. Most of them are on Hall of Fame. He has every slashing badge in the game. And he is a good shooter as well. Can create his own shot. Dr. J, now that he's updated, is a top three shooting guard in the game coming in at number three on my list now earlier what i said about my list not being biased totally goes out the window with this one right here most people do not like michael jordan as much as me because they don't like his animation personally i absolutely love michael jordan's animation and that's why he's coming in at number two on my top 10 shooting guard list let's get into it he's 6'6 six, six, which is probably the average height for the shooting guards that i went over 94 three-pointer 98 driving dunk, 94 ball handler great passing stats 99 steel 98 perimeter defense decent rebounding stats he has a 98 speed 96 speed with ball 98 acceleration 98 vertical 99 lateral quickness probably one of the best defenders at the shooting guard position now his badges are almost equivalent to Dr. J's. Volume shooter, catch and shoot. Um, where? Let's let's get to the important ones. Green machine, dead eye, pickpocket, pick dodger, clamps. He has defensive leader, which helps a lot too. Interceptor, intimidator, off ball pass, pogo stick, tireless defender. So I went over basically all the important defensive badges that are on Hall of Fame already. Let's keep moving forward. He has downhill, which helps a lot as well. Showtime now. Now, this, this is a big deal for MJ because I've noticed he gets a lot of steals and leaks out. And anytime he gets a dunk, his takeover meter goes up. So that's an important badge for him to have. And, and one thing on that, when he gets in the open court, open court, if you press down on the right stick, he's going to dunk from the free throw line nine times out of ten. And that is the best dunk animation in the game. Almost impossible to block. Gets a lot of and ones out of it. And that's part of the reason I love him so much. Let's keep going on down the list. Where is it? There they are. The dynamic duo. Quick draw and range extender. He has both of those on goal. Now, I would have loved to see both of them on Hall of Fame. But I'm not going to complain. Because Michael Jordan is probably the best defender at the shooting guard position in the game. Michael Jordan coming in at number two on my top 10 shooting guard list guys this just hurts hurts my head to look at look how much galaxy opal tracy mcgrady is going for now don't get me wrong don't get me wrong he is the best shooting guard in the game by far in my opinion by far um but guys i don't think he's worth that price i just want to put that out there straight away he does have a 98 three-pointer 99 driving dunk, 96 ball handling um, 95 steel, 96 perimeter defense, decent rebounding stats, 97 speed, 96 speed with ball, 97 acceleration, 99 vertical, and a 97 lateral quickness. So he can do it all on both ends. Let's get into the badges. As you guys can see, 
39 Hall of Fame badges. Guys, he is just ridiculous. He has 62 total badges. Volume shooter, catch and, catch and shoot, Hall of Fame, Hall of Fame, range extender, Hall of Fame, quick draw. Let's get, let's talk about something quick. His release is just incredible. It, 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 it's, it's up there as being one of the best in the game. Um, let's keep moving forward. Green Machine, uh, Pick Dodger, Clamps, Deadeye, Interceptor, Off Ball Pass, Pogo Stick, Space Creator, all these badges that are what makes him so good handles for days downhill he's got some of the most important badges that you can have he has almost all of them he has intimidator on gold uh, pickpocket on gold dimer on gold so some of these badges you wish were hall of fame but guys that doesn't take any any of what this card is away from him the only thing holding him back is his price tag now if you got a bunch of mt if you want tracy mcgrady go for it he's the best card in this in in the shooting guard realm but he's not the best budget guy so this this tracy mcgrady is coming in at number one on my top 10 shooting guard list that's gonna be it today for the video on the top 10 shooting guards in nba 2k20 my team um please comment below your thoughts anybody you'd like to see in the top 10 that i missed um who, who's too high who's too low and just leave leave any feedback down below um, I just want to thank you guys on your, for all your recent support on my channel. We're on the road to 2K uh, sub. So if you haven't yet, please, please, please hit that sub button. It helps me out more than you know. Um, and, and guys, I love y'all, man. Have a blessed day.